so I have spent well over an hour it is 417 right now we started talking about 245 ish but I spent the last about an hour and a half trying to talk with somebody civilly about the Bible and this person said that um, <laughs> excuse me this person said that the Sabbath was on a Saturday <laughs> Now, I tried asking this person, where in the Bible it says that the Sabbath is on Saturday. So then he uh, starts talking about um, the Revelation tells me that demons are after my soul tells me that uh, I'm already a dead man in spirit and starts talking about how he thinks uh, about Islam without answering my question. All because I asked him where the proof is in the Bible that the Sabbath is on Saturday. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think he either blocked me or muted me because I tried asking him uh, let's see here and there you can see I ask what day of the week applies to the Sabbath and he calls me a goof and I tell him he can't even answer my question and because he can't answer me a question because he can't answer my question he's accusing me of things and he is the one talking about Jewish people and yet he accuses me of hating Jews even though I said nothing he is sitting there talking about bad things about other races other religions and yet he is accusing me of being racist and whatever ist applies to religion Why? I have supported every person in their decision until it gets to the point of accusations and threats. I am a person who believes that as long as it helps you out and you don't use that to talk negatively about other people, then I have no issue with you doing something. Alright, I've got a would you rather question. 
Would you rather be accused of discriminating against someone because of their age or because of their gender? Also, <sighs> excuse me. Also, I, I do uh, want to say that I found out why um, YouTube wasn't worked or wasn't working all day. It's because somehow something happened where all of this stuff was coming into the U.S. and apparently the story is a few things got hacked. So YouTube and the internet not working right over the past few days for me was figured out apparently and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again but I'm assuming it probably will at some point but as of now it seems to be fixed alright uh, I'm working on a video it may be a while before it comes out because this is kind of a long script right now um the introduction alone is about a page and a half and it's not even done so not only might it be a while before it gets released it may also be split into several videos having said that I am working on the script right now the editing will be a hell of a lot better than what the most of the editing is on my videos um, I know I've said that I've talked about uh, and I've talked about you know filming and editing a uh, Slenderman video as of right now I haven't even started the script on the Slenderman video but that will be coming as well so excluding that Slenderman video that I uh, keep occasionally bringing up in my videos excluding that video does anybody have any ideas on what they think this scripted video actually is because I thought it. No, uh, in all seriousness, uh, in all seriousness, uh, I apparently cannot talk right now. In all seriousness, right now, with everything that's been going on, I'm surprised. I am completely surprised. I haven't been working on this a hell of a lot more. Because this is, in my opinion, a video that could reach a lot of people. It could be something that is important for people. If it's done right, this could kind of launch my videos into you know something that I never would have thought because as you can see here with the analytics there's a couple jumps in uh, like the spikes in um, how many people are viewing my videos the first spike is in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement and the start of all the protests and riots and stuff. And the second spike at the end is when um, SMP Films' uh, Corey Williams' uh, cat passed away recently. Um, so... Uh, 
I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm trying something new. And occasionally if I try something new, I'll get a spike for a day or two, and but things will go back down to normal. Oh, somebody left me a message on uh, my Facebook page. Oh, the guy that uh, was talking about me being racist when I'm not, the guy who brought up uh, Muslims and was talking about bad about Muslims, and then accused me of being racist. is telling me to check out his page. Alright. I'm going to end the video here by talking about somebody that I've already mentioned in the video. So this is a dude called Paul Moranchik. He is talking about religion and accusing me of racism when he is talking about people from Africa being Muslims and Muslims performing 9-11. I have told him several times I do not want him messaging me. And I've already unfriended him. I told him, please do not message me again. If you continue messaging me, I will block... Or if he continues messaging me, I will block him. And as you see here, he keeps messaging me after I... Oh, there's more stuff. But as you can see here, he I've told him, Here, do not message me. Here, do not message me. Here, do not message me. And he keeps messaging me, sending me Bible verses. Now, I have nothing against religion here's what I do have an issue with if a person uses religion to say I'm right you're wrong then I have an issue so Report profile. Harassment or bullying. Report them. And block. So, my friend, you are now blocked. If you made it this far in the video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And uh, if you subscribe, hit that bell notification. Um, also, let me know down below if you would have done the same thing I would have done.